Hi everybody, I'm David, one of your buggy experts here at the Baby Lock Shop. And today I have the brand new Bugaboo Donkey 5 ready for review. Now, as always, I've split this video into chapters to help you find the nuggets that you need quicker. But can I just say that if you do find this video helpful, please, please, please show your support by liking, by commenting, by sharing and subscribing to our YouTube channel. Here at the Baby Lock Shop, we are fanatical about all things baby and we just love empowering our customers to help them to choose a buggy that matches their lifestyle. Now, if you do have any questions on this video or you'd like to get in contact or book an appointment, either in store or virtually, I've included all of our Baby Doc contact details in the description below. So, the Bugaboo Donkey 5. They actually skipped four, because apparently four is bad luck in China. So it went from three to five. But the Bugaboo Donkey 5 is a single to double buggy with a difference. And um, first of all, as you can see here, we have it in mono mode. So in mono mode, it operates as a single buggy. But it then ex expands sideways into a side-by-side -side double buggy. Now, it may look chunky, but rest assured, the Bugaboo Donkey 5 is designed to fit through most standard doorways. And because it's a Bugaboo, it is just a dream to push. So I'm gonna start by showing you a little bit more detail on mono mode, and then I'm gonna expand into double and show you what life could be like with twins or Irish twins or two siblings. So uh, let's get cracking. Okay, so first up, let's just take a moment to admire how unbelievably slick and stylish the Bugaboo Donkey 5 looks. The chassis is available in two colors, black, as you can see here, and aluminum. And there's a variety of color fabrics available that you can actually mix and match. Now the fabrics themselves, as you come to expect from Bugaboo, are luxuriously soft, but they're durable, semi-stain resistant, and again, everything you see here is removable and machine washable. Um, throughout the buggy, you're gonna see beautiful attention to detail, including the Bugaboo branding, and even things like this leather handlebar, super comfy for parents to push. Now, I have this here set up in the mono mode. So let's take a look at this first. First of all, we have the brand new carry cot. And this is one of the new, one of the big innovations for the Bugaboo Donkey 5. You have a generous size hood with a ventilation window like so. Let me turn this sideways. That is further extended here, offering really, really good sun coverage for babies during those summer months. When it is summertime, you have a breezy front panel here as well for additional ventilation, but it's also a handy little peekaboo window to allow a baby to see out if you are doing tummy time. Now, the carry cot is luxury outside and in. And what you'll notice is that inside, really soft fabrics, high quality mattress, now one thing, it's not approved for overnight sleeping, but it has a very clever mechanism within it that allows you to collapse it flat really quickly, which makes it ideal for transport in the boot of a car. And when it's in mono mode, there's this additional shopping basket that you can lift off and carry around with you. Now, before I move on to double mode, let me just talk about what a dream this is to push. First of all, you have your extendable handlebars like so. You have a leather finish with a little handy carry strap to keep the buggy securely attached to you. Um, underneath, you have these big puncture-free tires mounted on an all-wheel suspension. And really, despite its size, this thing is just so easy to maneuver and just an absolute pleasure to drive, it really is. Underneath, there's an additional shopping basket that you can fire all of your bits into when you're out and about. And now, let us move on to double mode. So first off, we lift this off, and then we take off the carry cot. Now with the carry cot, there's memory button release, which is really handy. White button on this side, white button on this side. Lift off, and away you go. Now, when you're converting to the mono, there's three flicks and one press of a button. So flick one is here, flick two there, and then there's a third one underneath. Now, 
you press the center button and hey presto, expando, here we go. Look at that for easy, it's good isn't it? So, then we get our carry cut, pop it on like so, and we get our second seat, pop that on. Now, the reason why the donkey is so popular is because it allows each seat to operate independently of one another. So you can put this seat into a recline or sit forward. It can parent face, it can world face. You can have two toddlers facing each other at the same time. That is the beauty of the side-by-side -side buggy. Now it's configurable with a variety of carry cots, car seats, as well as main seats. Now the main seat usually comes with a hood, but the, I've just switched the hood over to the carry cot here. But that versatility is what makes it so popular. Now the catch is, of course, for city dwellers, it is a wide buggy and it does take up quite a lot of the path. Um, but if you're living in an area where space isn't at that sort of a premium, this is re a really, really good contender for twins and Irish twins. Um, and I would actually like to flag as well that even in double mode, it is the same width as most standard doorways. So to fold with the donkey is really easy to do and it can be folded as a one piece with the seat unit still attached or a two piece with the seat units removed first. So let me show you what it looks like as a one piece fold. The carry cot doesn't really fold it on, but the seat unit does. So when you're folding it, I always like to put the brake on, collapse the handlebar, and then on either side of the buggy chassis, there's two little white buttons here. You pull them towards you, you push down, and you pull up through the middle. Now, it's not the, the most compact buggy, but for a side-by-side, -side, this is pretty small and it really doesn't take up that much space at all. Um, if you were trying to get into the boot of a car, what you can do is collapse it back into the mono mode and then fold it flat and you'll get a much uh, more compact fold. And it is possible to remove the, um, the wheels too. To reopen, you're just literally pulling the handlebars up and an opening like so, which again is really easy. On the old Bugaboo Donkey 3, you used to have to kneel down and pull the buttons towards you, but it's actually with this one now, all you're doing is lifting up. Now the Bugaboo Donkey 5, as I mentioned a couple of minutes ago, it is compatible with car seats, but there's also a huge other variety of accessories you can get, like cup holders, foot muffs, and you can actually have a toddler board on the back as well, which allows you to cart around three ch uh, children in total. So let's wrap this up with a conclusion. So the Bugaboo Donkey is a really logical option for anybody who's having twins, but I'm hoping this video really shows what it has to offer in mono mode, but also what it has to offer anybody who's having their first baby, but maybe unsure as to what the future holds. It is outrageously enjoyable to push. It is very stylish and very premium. And I think one of the best things about it is its versatility and how each seat operates independently of one another, which allows both siblings to have equal status versus the more traditional inline doubles, which requires one seat to sit almost on top of the other. Now, are there any negatives to this buggy? I have to be honest, in terms of space, it does have a compact fold. It is a relatively lightweight chassis, but for those who are stuck for space indoors, it, there is a little bit of a footprint. But equally, if you are living in an area where the paths aren't that wide, this might just take up a little bit too much space, but that's up to you to really measure up. And I would like to say once again, that this has been designed to fit through standard doorways. So maybe don't be discouraged. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please, please, please show your support by liking, by commenting and by sharing. Um, if you have any questions or you'd like to book an appointment either in store or virtually, I've included all of our contact details in the description below. I'm David, thank you very much for watching and I hope you found this helpful.